Hello and welcome all my dear third standard students how have you been i hope you have been good doing great job in your studies for all the subjects and i hope that you have started preparing for fa4 exam and students like i feel that now as you are sending all your work certainly and i hope that this time you won't face any problem because the more regular you will be the more grip you might be having in your subjects i am not talking only about the science for all the subjects so just make sure you have to follow one panel if you want to get the good scores it is just very easy you have to watch the daily lectures follow the instructions given in that and that's it so my dear students welcome once again in science lecture i hope that you have watched our previous science lecture have you watched yes you might have watched if you are obedient and the regular student or for some other other reason if you are not able to watch it's okay sometimes to take the rest but please make sure do not take totally the rest that means do not skip that lecture sooner or later if you watch that in the sequence it will be very helpful to you now if you have watched the previous lecture you might be knowing that we have done chapter number 12 reading and hard words also keywords i asked you to repeat with me so this is what we have done in the previous lecture so if you have not watched it please watch that before watching this lecture this is what my suggestion would be now my dear students welcome in today's lecture in where i am going to explain you chapter number 12 air water and weather so today we are going to understand each and every concept also wherever necessary i have brought the pictures for you to understand it and believe me trust me these pictures will be very much helpful to understand you even the pictures in your textbook itself are very much elaborated will be helpful to you to understand the topic very easily so let's get started now in today's lecture as such you do not need anything else but if you have the textbook then you need to open page number 118 so from there the chapter 12 starts and i should even say that unit unit number 5 natural phenomena starts from there so please be ready with your textbook if you have if you do not have just you have to fold your hands and have to just pay 100% attention here in the lecture that's it so you do not have to do any kind of writing or any other activity in this lecture just wear your earplugs if you have and your eyes brain everything to should be towards this screen so let's get started i'm going to display the textbook in front of you so this is your textbook in which page number 118 where chapter 12 starts air water and weather so in the previous lecture we already have solved this warm up exercise which we had to solve by looking at the picture three questions were there which we have already solved so in this picture water is also there air is also there and you can judge that what kind of weather it is also which season it is accordingly the weather would be so this is what we have done in the previous lecture and then we started reading today along with the reading explanation part will be there i must say only and only if you read the chapter twice and understand in this explanation lecture and the objective to solve it will be just a piece of cake for you you will be able to solve it very easily so please make sure whenever explanation video is there you should 
pay hundred percent attention, like attention mentally, not just physically. So here, from page number one hundred and nineteen, the topic starts from where we have to actually understand after the warm up exercise. So let's get started. What does air contain? Do you know, students? What does the air contain? What is there inside the air? You will say that, sir. Have you gone mad? Nothing is there inside the air. In fact, we cannot see the air. Now, that invisible object, what will it contain? But let me tell you, air contain a lot of thing. A whole lot of thing are there inside the air. Yes. Now I have not gone mad. It is what fact is. Let us understand, and this is why the topic is there in the chapter. If you take a glass of very cold water and place it on the table, you will soon notice water drops sticking on the outer side of the glass. Is it so? Now maybe in this picture you cannot see the water droplets, but I have brought a picture for you. Let me. display it now are you able to see this picture so can you see that this you can easily observe and you can easily judge that this water otherwise was very chilled very cold and then when you kept it in the room temperature now it is becoming hotter and hotter in the sense not as hot as it just you know the smokes comes out of the water it is just becoming cooler or i should say in the normal temperature so can you see when you keep the water like this in the room temperature when you keep the chilled water in the room temperature the water droplets are formed on the outer layer of the glass now can you tell me the reason why is it so you cannot say there is a leakage in the water come on if it is so then this much water would not have been in the glass for such a long time not even a single drop of water which is there inside will come outside how is it possible from the glass if we pack the room of the glass we cannot even our voice cannot even penetrate the glass how can the water penetrate it so where do these water drops come from have you ever tried to think where does it comes from is it a magic no it is a scientific process yes earlier days in the ancient time when the people did not know why is it so when they did not know actually what is the scientific process happening they used to call it magic let us see what scientific process takes place here this water didn't leak through the glass so there is a no leakage in the glass don't change your glass if this happens don't throw it by saying that oh it is Yeah, there is a leakage in the glass no it came from the air now this water droplets came from the air now you will say that sir unless there is rainy season it won't rain the water won't come from the air but it will come now you might have even observed in the winter season the dew is there Uh, on your scooter or motorcycle or cycle seat will be wet that is because of dew was it raining in the winter season no it was dew so this process happens air contains water in the form of water vapor yes so air contains the water in the form of water vapor air also contains important gases such as oxygen and carbon dioxide did you know that because if the oxygen is not there what we will do we will have to take the oxygen cylinders no we are getting the oxygen in free of cost when you are walking you do not need to get carry the cylinder oxygen cylinder right because you are getting it from the nature where from the nature from the air exactly you are getting the oxygen not only the oxygen many more other gases are also there in the air itself so whole lot of thing air contains just see still it is invisible so it is intangible so still so many things are there inside the air we breathe in oxygen 
air may also contain dust particles and germs these can stick to our body easily that is why we should always have a bath daily we should also wash our hands before eating to clean off the germs see this is why we clean our hands now you cannot see germs by your naked eyes right you will say that oh sir i have touched nowhere and my hands are white look at my hands these are very white so let me tell you the white is not your hand it is your skin tone but inside there germs are present let me show you one thing which will evident you the same thing whatever i am speaking here so i will show you one picture where washed and unwashed hands can be easily seen now look at the picture can you look at the picture here see on the left side you can see the hands as you can see with your eyes but on the right side microscopic image of the hand is there under the microscope if you keep your hands the germs are seen at every part of the hand now with this hand you are going to eat the food then you are inviting various diseases for yourself don't you think so so that is why it is written here you should wash wash your hands you should take bath daily though it is winter season in the winter season i know that many of you feel very much lazy especially for the bath because it's very very cold weather but still just for the cleanliness sake or i should say just to remain free from the germs you need to take the bath so this is what it was written here and i hope by looking at this image it is very much clear in your mind that when you look at your hands it looks like this but actually it is like this if you look from the microscope so wash your hands it is a good habit especially before eating otherwise you will put inside the germs inside your stomach along with the food moving on to the next topic water water is very important for life on the earth now there is needless to discuss the needs of the water why because you already know how much water is important in which way in how many ways it is used so all living things need water whether it is a human being or animal or even the plants we need water definitely we need now i should say students not only the living things but also non living things now you will say that sir you have really gone mad how do non living things need the water so for an example if you have the vehicle you keep it outside it becomes very much dusty don't you need to wash it so water is i should say that we cannot separate the water from our life even our body is 70% of the water yes it is truth so all the living things need water we use water for the various purposes such as drinking cooking and watering plants taking bath washing several things etc and many more things we need the water for if you can see in the image you can recollect the memory when you have seen your mom in the kitchen she also cooks the food now ask your mom ask your mom in how many varieties of the food do you need water she would say in 99% of the variety water is needed even to cook the food then obviously to drink water can you live without drinking the water a day no you can live for few hours not for the 24 hours if 24 hours you will go mad without water so water is much more important then in the picture you can see here a child is watering a plant why so only then the flowers will blossom there the fruits will come in the tree correct 
so in all these parts we need the water without water this could not be done now let us see an interesting topic of water cycle so water cycle we know that ice water and water vapor are the three forms of water wait a minute so boys and girls where have you seen this line before ice water and water vapor have you heard these three forms of the water ever before some of you might be saying yes some of you might be saying maybe some of you might be saying no people who are saying no let me tell you that in our fifth chapter which was solid liquid and gases in that we have already discussed these three matters of liquid substances in which water was in the three form ice which is solid form water which is liquid form water vapor which is gases form so we know that the ice water and the water vapor are the three forms of water what happens to the water when the wet clothes dry in the sun now again is there any magic happening your mom or the maid at your house washes the clothes and dips the clothes inside the bucket of the water and within 2 to 3 hours the the again the clothes becomes dry and becomes in the condition that you can wear it easily why so now you will say sir because of sunlight but why because of sunlight if the sunlight would not be there your clothes would take much more time to get dry why so because the water present in the wet clothes changes into the vapor due to the heat from the sunlight so i have one more picture to evidence this example to support this example if you can see the image here i have brought what is it it shows that the water droplets from these clothes are soaked are evaporated because of the heat of this sunlight that is the reason why if the sunlight would not be there you must have noticed in the rainy season especially it takes a long time for the clothes to get dry isn't it so yes so that is the only reason because in the rainy season we cannot see sun light or the sun is uh, not as much smiling as 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 us in the summer season it does so this is the only reason why it is so so students the change of the water to the water vapor is called evaporation so due to the process of evaporation your clothes gets dry now i hope you came to know that all this by you know looking at the water droplets on the glass by looking at the dry clothes i hope that now you know that it is no magic there is a scientific reason there is a process behind that so i hope this concept is pretty clear in your mind coming to the next page in the same way the sun heats up the water from the rivers ponds lakes seas and plants this water evaporates into the air as a water vapor see if you can see this in uh, this in image this line is fully described in the single image the water from the ocean gets evaporated in the air why is it so only because of the sunlight sun's heat this evaporation process is possible otherwise we humans are not capable enough to evaporate the water totally from the ocean it is only because of the sun's heat and sun's energy only sun is capable to do this process of evaporation in the large amount in all the parts of the earth so i hope now you got the idea of evaporation when it goes higher the water vapor cools down to form the small water droplets the change of the water vapor to the water droplet is called condensation 
स्टूडेंट्स अगेन द सेम कंडेंसेशन डेफिनेशन वी हैव लॉन्ड रिफर टू इन चैप्टर फाइव सॉलिड लिक्विड एंड गैसेस सो दीज टाइनी वाटर ड्रॉपलेट्स मिक्स विद द डस्ट एंड अदर थिंग्स टू फॉर्म द क्लाउड्स सो यू कैन सी द क्लाउड्स ऑफ वाइट एंड द पेल वाइट कलर वाई डू ओनली द डार्क क्लाउड्स फॉर्म द रेन This is the only reason because water mixes with the different dust particles. Inside the clouds, the tiny water droplets join to form the big drops. When water drops in the cloud becomes too heavy to remain in the air, they fall down as rain. So now I hope students you understood what and how the formation of a rain happens. so small water droplets initially sums up or i should say gathers to form the big droplets and it be when it becomes very heavy that it cannot stay in the cloud or in the air with the dust it falls down obviously um, the things which are very much light can only remain in the air see even if you throw the feather from your balcony or from the terrace the feather will be able to remain in the air only if it is heavy wind otherwise slowly gradually it will fall down so this is what even happens with the water droplets so in places that are very cold the water drop freezes into the ice and come down as snow so if the water is gathered obviously the water is going to come in return on the on the earth but in the cold places it be, it turns into the snow when it is there up in the sky with the dust particles so the snowfall happens this is the reason why in some at the some places on the earth snowfall can be seen and in in some places waterfall in the form of rainfall can be seen so the rain water or the snow fills the seas rivers ponds and lakes and the cycle continues so this is what happens now after the rainfall happens again the ponds and the lakes and the different water bodies are filled up full with the water and again this process happens so this is called the water cycle now you can clearly see in this diagram everything is labeled very clearly now you can see that the water gets heated by the sun and goes up as the water vapor this is what the first step we can see that step we can see that clouds cannot hold the big drops of water these water drops come down as rain so when it, it the water droplets becomes too heavy to remain in the air it comes down in the form of rainfall so at some places rainfall happens if the water droplets up in the sky becomes ice because of the cold weather around that particular position then it comes down as the snowfall so at some places snowfall is there at some places rainfall is there so here you can see that again the rain water fills the snow water the the rain water or the snow fills the water bodies so this is how the cycle happens the water cycle takes place so now i hope that you have understood each and every detail whatever is explained here now let me explain you one activity which you can do at your place at your home and in the previous activities yes few students sent me the photo in the chapter 11 which activity i told you so in the same way i want students to send me the photos of the activity or the videos whatever you observe now what is the aim of this activity to understand the effect of evaporation so live if you want to see the effect of evaporation you can do that through this activity how so the materials you need is a handkerchief some water you need and the cloth packs you need method is soak a handkerchief in water 
hang it outside with the help of the cloth pegs that means the clips you use to hang the water the to hang the cloth which is full of water so what happens to it after an hour does it remain as wet as before no it will not remain as wet it as it was before when you just soaked the uh, you know handkerchief in the water it will become dry observation says that the handkerchief starts becoming dry after some time so conclusion is the water in the handkerchief evaporates into the air now this is what might be happening daily in your house why because either your mom or grandmom or the maid of the house might be washing the clothes correct everyone washes their clothes daily so in every house this is happening in the routine task so students i hope you will do this activity and you will send me the video so this will be really a lot of fun i can even share your video or the photos if they are appropriate in your whatsapp group with the name and the appreciation so now let us solve this very short let's remem remember exercise so first question is circle the odd one out in each of the following number 1 lake pond sea air which is the odd one so let me zoom in so that you can see it clearly here very easy answer is air why because lake pond sea these three are the river bodies these three are the water bodies i mean to say these three are the water bodies air is not a water body so it stands out it is odd one now in the next ice water air water vapor okay which is the odd one can you say ice is the odd one water air or water vapor here air again is the odd one why because ice water and water vapor are the all three forms of water only but air is not the form of water that is why again here air stands out it is a odd one number 3 wind breeze storm winter okay which one is the odd one again i am going to leave this for you in the homework do it by yourself number 3 and send it to me for the correction or if you have any doubt so i will be able to know that you are solving it by your own or not you are watching the lecture properly or not now we're talking about true or false water is present in the air as ice is it possible that water is present in the air as the ice no so it is false here germs stick to our body when we go out yes it is true then another question number 3 is the heat of the sun cools the water in the lakes and the river what happens it does not cool down it heats and thus the water gets evaporated so this statement is false so the statement false true and false so with this i end my today's lecture i hope you enjoyed a lot understanding the new concepts we will discuss the remaining concepts in the next lecture next part of the explanation have a nice day goodbye